So for today, we're going to be looking at the Dino Armor Set Experimentation Part 2. I, If you guys want to look at the first one, I'll have it in the comments below. But essentially, we got a second pair of armor that I went through. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, Hunter is probably my favorite. Titan is close second. And then Warlock's not even in the list, honestly. The Warlock, unfortunately, you guys got dicked pretty hard in this event. And not just this event, but particularly, like, you guys just have really bad fashion most of the time and it's not even your guys's fault it's the fact that they bungee took away your arms shoulder well, i'll get into that in the video but if you guys like the video liking commenting subscribing everything all that helps the channel grow and it actually makes me feel happy as well but other than that let's get started so we're gonna start off with my hunter my hunter is looking pretty crisp i'm not gonna lie to you guys i love i love that that i came up with this um I will say the legs are actually better with the stompies, but I'll show you guys later. Um, I wanted to show you guys this one specifically because this is actually how he started first out. And then when I went to another discord and showed them off, some person, uh, some guy from a, another discord actually showed me them with the stompies and I fell in love with it. So helmet is going to be the moon fang from the prophecy dungeon. You guys can get this right now. If you don't have it, I have a review on all of the armor sets for the titan warlock and hunter specifically so if you guys want to look at those videos i'll have it in the description below <clears throat> but this helmet is probably one of my favorite helmets for the hunter it looks very hunterish the only unfortunate part is the fact that you can't change the color of the white and, bl and blue so you really have to get into that whole making sure you have white and blue you can do black white and blue if you want it's just very unfortunate that you can't change the color of that i mean it's it's very annoying let me just say that but i think it, i think it came out really well not gonna lie the helmet is literally the reason why i went with the whole blue shader because again cannot change color of that blue visor uh arms is gonna be the forbidden massage which is basically the armor the eververse armor set from season of the hunt if i remember correctly and these are really hard to work around so if you guys see right here if you guys notice the arms are very bulky uh, as for, for a hunter and i think i i came out this this thing came out really good just because the chest piece isn't slim enough to make it look weird because it could definitely look weird if you put like a very slim look to it so like something like this would look kind of weirdish so anything that looks like really slim it's gonna feel very weird so like something like this as you can see like very slim but then very bulky here so something like this this is another build that i've been wanting to, to uh release in a video because i have a build with this chest piece and these arms but yeah these arms are really cool the other unfortunate thing is the fact that this blue right here does not change color either so you're pretty much stuck with that blue which is why i went with blue i had two pieces of armor that don't change color and i was just like i'm fucking i'll just go with blue and i'll try to find a really good blue that goes with that another good blue that goes with this right here and doesn't like go like it's not that bad with this blue would be the <clears throat> the shader from last wish i actually think it goes really well with this because the blue up here and the blue down here go really well together and also that bony color if you're looking for that this definitely looks super dope so if you are curious uh for the chest piece we're using the raptor armor obviously this is what really brought the whole set together and why this video is being made this is what started the second one i was trying to see if i could make something cool with the robo raptor armor and lo and behold i came up with this whole set and i was like this looks so fucking cool it hurts how cool it is and i'm not even lying this is neat this isn't even its final form when we show the legs then we'll get to like the the actual because i think with the stompies it looks even better so speaking of stompies let's just go do that right now so here's stompies and i absolutely think it looks so cool the only unfortunate part is i think like maybe and i mean maybe i could probably switch out the white right here with blue and i think that would make it a lot better there is a shader if i remember correctly that does that the only unfortunate part is that like for me i want to keep the armor white so that it can match with the buckle right here 
which is easier said than done if i'm going to be quite honest because a lot of armor just wants to change that color immediately so like something like this this i think looks super dope the only unfortunate part is for the people who are keen like that have, that have keen eyes or whatever you guys will know that the armor actually has a tint of blue it's not super visible but i notice it uh it's, it's a very very like a small hint of blue i'm not even kidding small hint of blue here it's definitely not the same color here this is more like a matte white and this is more like a like a bluish sky bluish very light sky blue uh armor tint so that's why i to, to be like honestly i would rock that if it if it didn't bug me so much but i think this is super dope uh, the stompies with the astrocytes uh, ornament make it just look so much better. Although I haven't even seen how the... Oh, this looks cool too. Whoa. Damn. What about the, the OG one? No, that's too much white. Yeah, no. Oh, damn, dude. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. You guys, Do you guys like the, the retreads or the astrocytes? I think I like the astrocytes a little bit more. But this still looks this still looks dope, man. So last but not least, we have the cloak, which is from last year's Halloween event, the Canis Luna. This is the werewolf farmer. And I I love that. I love how it came out. Not going to lie. I will say you can switch, switch it out with this and it still looks pretty dope. The only reason I'm using this is because I like the fact that the first covering a lot more and I just like it. It looks super dope to me. So that's my hunter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think he came out really well. Uh, obviously, my favorite parts are the fact that like the chest piece fits so well with the arms. Uh, I don't know if I've said this or not, but for me, it kind of feels like he's wearing like two layers of clothing. So like the arms are the first layer and the chest piece is the second layer. That's how it feels to me, because like if you guys can see like right here, it's not it doesn't look like it's directly connected to the cloak or to the chest piece so for me it almost feels like the the chest piece is actually like the last part of the armor that's on so i think that's super cool and that's why i really gravitated towards it but yeah one of my favorite sets hands down uh next up is the titans so this is my titan i was going for a cabal look specifically a war beast and i think the the fact that the the tyrannosaurus rex legs just almost completed it it killed let's talk about it so first and foremost we're going to be using the steel chase helm which is the season of the hunt season pass armor so unfortunately you cannot get this anymore same goes with the chest piece uh i think this this is probably like the only one that i could probably change and not feel that shitty about it the only thing that i would want to use is like i would want to use a chest piece that has like like a like a not a dinosaur face but more of a actually the dino face might not be that bad uh no like obviously i'm going for the war beast look if you, gotta, if you guys don't know what a war beast is, it's basically the cabal dog and that's what i'm going for unfortunately we don't have a war beast face so the best option would be this face because it is very cabal which is why i'm using both the chest piece and the the helmet for it just to really really hit home that I, this is a cabal uh cosplay essentially for the arms we're using uh doomfang pauldron specifically we're using the embodiment of the war beast and this one i don't know when the when he's gonna or when uh eververse is gonna bring it back for bright dust but if you guys really do want it you guys can buy it in the eververse i think uh this should be up for silver only at least like right now you can get it and this was literally the only reason like this this these arms the ornament specifically was the reason why i wanted to go for it because the ornament very very war beast obviously but then i was like well i could use these because war beast you know they're dogs basically and this looks like claws and stuff i mean obviously so that's where the inspiration came from the shader rose scale was the only reason i'm using this shader don't get me wrong i like the shader but the only reason i'm using it is because every other red shader in the game almost every if not all of them do not shader these scales here and if you guys have seen a war beast that part is actually red and 
almost none of them do it and i do not know why i was getting really mad because i was like dude like i just is this is it really that this one did it but i didn't like the fact that like there's this white stuff down here that was really like pre prevalent and i also think the i just i don't know i just didn't like it uh oh that the other reason is because for some reason uh midnight smith the cloth it just has weird dots on it and i just i did not vibe with it so at the end of the day i went with this which i i think looks super dope uh chess piece again like i said it's from season of the hunt the steeplechase it's the cabal this so the titans got cabal themed for season of the hunt if you guys don't know and i think what hunters got fallen themed armor and then warlocks got hive themed armor which i'm thankful that titans got uh cabal themed armor because it meant that you could get the embodiment of war beast and just really go ham with it like i feel like i'm like a titan at, at this point leg pieces from the dino set obviously and it, it really it really completes the look for me uh the only thing that would make it better is if like i had a better helmet i guess but i think the leg piece just really fits perfectly for it um i highly recommend the the legs the chest piece and the arms the helmet and the cloak or the mark are not like my i'm not the biggest fan of them personally but i definitely definitely love the legs a lot last but not least we have the mark which i totally forgot what, to, what mark this is called unfortunately you can't get this one anymore mark of the emperor's champion this one is from leviathan uh prestige if i remember correctly and unfortunately leviathan's not here anymore it might come back in the future but i i don't know when but this really also like completes it as well because i feel like this is very cabal themed obviously i'm at the end of the day i'm just trying to like be as so much cabal as i can so that way people can like immediately get like oh you're going for cabal that looks super cool or it doesn't look good because like for the helmet i could probably do another piece which is this one right here and it's not perfect but it definitely gives the vibe of, of tight or of a cabal but i feel like the other one just fits a little bit better just because it completes this weird thing up here and at the end of the day it's slim and i like it so that's the titans let me know titans how you guys think or what do you guys think about the look uh again i'd be very interested to see this on a male titan if i'm being quite honest just to see if it looks cool because i do know that the arms for the titans these are also do look quite small so i want to see if the proportions would still be the 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 same but yeah let me know your thoughts and we'll go to the warlock and last but not least we have warlocks unfortunately warlocks you guys kind of got dicked hard for well it's not even like this event's a fault fault it's more bungee's fault and what i mean by that is the fact that in destiny one your arms were actually connected with your shoulders as well so fashion wise in destiny one warlocks had it a lot better just because uh you could come you could basically use whatever shoulders you, that were connected with the arms so for example instead of this right here the fur the shoulders would actually be connected to whatever the shoulder is here so you would probably end up just getting this right here this little armor set uh but let me give you a better example maybe like you would get the balls like that's the that's the thing like you would get the, the shoulder pieces right here basically the whole arm if i remember correctly probably not but Either way, it's just unfortunate because at the end of the day, it it's it's so limiting. But let's go through the armor if you're if you are interested. First and foremost, we have the dinosaur helmet from this uh, this uh, Halloween. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, if I'm being quite honest, it looks super gross, and I just don't understand who in Budgie thought that warlocks should get triceratops. Like, what what world do we live in th that <laughs> reminds like people like the first thing that they thought, you know, maybe we should do a fucking Triceratops for a warlock. I, if I was in that conversation, I would have been like, uh, no, let's do it like a Pterodon, uh, a Pterodon, whatever, a Pterodon, uh, Quetzalcoatlus, anything that flies l dope, do it. A, ter a, a Triceratops just makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, I talk about this in the review uh, about about the dinosaur armor again I will have that in the comments below but I just 
I just question who who in the right mind would think Triceratops equals Warlock. I don't understand it. But here we are. And I just, I'm not a big fan of this armor. I'm not gonna lie, this helmet looks super gross. The chest piece is super dope. I've already made a video about that. And the dinosaur armor, I'll have that in the comments as well. But yeah, this, this is the helmet. For the arms, we have the Season of the Splicer Interlaced Gloves. This is the Season uh, season Pass armor, which unfortunately you can't get this anymore. And I think this, this goes really well with it. I'm not really that picky with arms because again, most of the time they really don't matter. Uh, but I did want to use this so that way I can have like the, the bondages here or bandages, bondage, uh, bandages right here uh, connected with the bandage here. And that's really it. That's the only reason why I'm using this. I'm not going to lie to you guys, uh, Warlocks specifically. Uh, this is, uh, this is an arm. This is an armor set that I was just kind of like I'm winging it. I'm just using pieces that I crutch on, which is the chest piece. The chest piece is definitely something I crutch on. Fortunately, you can get this chest piece if you actually do like it. And I mean, why would you not? It looks super cool. It's from Season of the Splicer. You can get it with doing whatever you want in Season of the Splicer. You can actually target farm these if you have unlocked the engram for it. And I highly recommend this armor. It's really good, very versatile. You can use it in pretty much anything. The first changes color which is super dope um, even the arms for that set changes uh changes fur as well so if you guys really want you guys can combine it uh, i have no issue with that because it looks super cool so i mean go ham on it but it is it is starting to be something like i crutch on because it's such, just such a good uh chess piece it's one of the better ones that warlocks have if i'm being quite honest for the legs, I wanted to use like like I wanted to use the dino set because again, there's not a lot of armor that really is impactful as the chest piece. Uh, if you guys don't know, I made the the first dino set. I did it with the chest piece from that this one, and I think it looks really cool. I very much love it. But that's really it. The arms for it is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say they suck. They are pretty dope. But again, it's just very, it's unfortunate that Warlocks uh, are in the situation that they're in fashion wise. So yeah, these are the boots. I actually do like the boots and they shade are pretty dope. Last but not least, we have the interlaced bond, which is part of the set for the, the arms and this, unfortunately, you can't get this one anymore either. Uh, the only reason I went with this is because it has, has three dots here and Triceratop has three horns. I just immediately that I know it's dumb, but that's the first thing I went with. You can literally go with anything again. This is this whole set was more of a just like, ah, uh, I need to come up with something because I don't want to do it without a warlock. But if I do another one of these videos and the hunter's using like another piece and the Titan is using another piece, I may not actually do a warlock just because again, it's pretty boring making a set for a warlock when you're just using arms because the arms are not very noticeable most of the time. Go, same thing goes for the legs. Uh, there could be a uh, there could be something said for the the bond just because the bond is very dope. But at the end of the day, warlocks, I'm so sorry. Like. The chest piece is cool, but literally everything else is just like either like underwhelming or bad. And I think the everything, everything is dope except the helmet. So let me know on Warlocks what you guys think. I am, I apologize that I just could not do anything. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Triceratops helmet, I've seen people rock it really well. It's just that I didn't want to copy people. Not only that, but I just... Honestly, I'm just a little, a little angry that they really went with the Triceratops for the, for the Warlock. It's just like, who are you? Why would you do that? Like, literally any, any, whatever. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I had a lot of fun doing these aside from the Warlock. The Warlock literally, literally gave me headaches. But the Hunter came out really dope, and that was by accident. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The Titan was actually the titan specifically that whole reason i have that one like that is because it's actually a build if you guys didn't see a lot of them had like yellow uh frames they're all masterworked essentially yeah, because that's my melee build specifically a void melee build so that one was just no brainer it's like i need i mean i'm gonna be using this on a build so i might as well just do something really cool with it and the warlock uh, unfortunately i don't have a build with her yet because my warlock is the one i pl play least with but 
that might change this 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 season just because I want to play with her more. Not only that, she's I'm Warlock's just dope, so I just want to play with her more. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.